Welcome back to episode 23 of Dominic Pernay's course on celestial navigation. My name is John Pinto, and I'll be uh, walking you through Dominique's uh, course. I'm an amateur astronomer and a mathematician, and in this episode, we're going to talk about the Mark St. Hilaire method in a little bit more detail uh, than we've done in the past. As always, <clears throat> you can uh, find out uh, more about Dominique's course uh, in his books, <coughs> Celestial Navigation, <coughs> excuse me, and Celestial Navigation Exercise Books, which you can find more information about in uh, at the website marinenavigationbooks.com, where you can order the books, you can download uh, the PDF of the exercise manual, you can download the slide deck that this course is based on, and a lot of a few other goodies that are that are there. So what is the Mark St. Hilaire method of celestial navigation? Well, you start off by assuming a smart boat position. And this is mainly used to simplify the calculations if you're going to be using site reduction tables 249 or 229, which is another set of site reduction tables. Um, there's another way to do Mark St. Hilaire method where you can assume your DR position instead of a smart boat position. But that gets us off track from how we're uh, doing this particular course. That's a whole other course. Uh, once you have your smart boat position, your assumed position, uh, you read out of the site reduction tables, the Z and the ZN, as we've done in previous episodes. And then you calculate your HC, which we've done now in a few episodes. And you're going to compare that to the actual sextant measure, HO, after you do all of the um, uh, adjustments uh, to your sextant height to get HO. And the difference in that altitude will translate into the distance called the intercept in nautical miles, either towards the sun from our assumed position or away from the sun from our assumed position. So here's a little diagram of basically what we're trying to do. So as you remember, way back at our beginning of the course, when you take your sextant reading uh, and you find out how high the um, um, the object is above the Earth, you're in essence measuring how far away you are from that object. If you remember, zenith distance equals equals distance away. Um, but that's basically the same as just looking at the um, sextant angle and noting that if you are uh, further away, the sextant angle will be less, which means your zenith distance will be greater. Or if it's greater than, uh, if it gets higher in the, in the sky, then your zenith distance is smaller and then you're closer to the sun. So it, it's all about being closer or farther away from uh, where the GP is of the object. In our case, it'll be the sun. And if you again, if you remember what that's telling you is you are on some position in this circle uh, from that height because everybody on this circle, this exact same distance from the GP, well, read the exact same sextant reading. So what we need to do is find out where we are on this circle. And we do that um, to, uh, through two things. So the first thing is we get from the tables where the sun is, what is the angle that the sun is away from us. And we're going to focus on just a little piece of the circle of position near our assumed position, which we're hoping is somewhat close to where we are. So this is our assumed position that we're on some part of the circle. And because we're so zoomed in, it's basically a straight line. And we're going to assume it's a straight line uh, you know, somewhere near our boat. And then from there, we know the bearing to the sun. And so we can draw a line on our chart uh, from where we think we are to where the sun is. And again, so here's uh, what we're going to do. So once we know the direction to the sun, we need to know how far away we are. So using our HO, right, we know exactly how far away we are from the sun. We know from the HC that we calculated where the assumed position is on, of the sun. So what we're going to do is just compare those two numbers, and that's going to tell us how far away we are from that assumed position. So again, if our HO from our sextant is greater than the HC from the site reduction tables, which we calculated from our assumed position, then our actual position must be closer to the sun than our assumed position, and we'll mark that on our chart closer to the sun. 
here's an example of how that might look on a chart. Again, HO <clears throat> from the, the sextant greater than the HC. So here was our assumed position from the tables. It came out that HC was 16 degrees and 12 minutes. But when we measured it with our sextant and did our, our corrections to it, we came out with 16 degrees, 21 minutes. So we are high, the sun was higher uh, in the sky than our assumed position would have been. So that must mean we're closer. And how cl much closer? It's just the difference between the two angles. That's the essence of the Mark St. Hilaire method, how, why it's so easy to use. So the difference was nine minutes, which turns into nine nautical miles in the direction of the sun, which we got from our ZN. Again, just to make it hopefully, you know, drill this into your, uh, into your imagination. Here's again, when we did the uh, calculation from our assumed position, we got an HC, which put us somewhere over here. But when we actually measured it with our sextant, it turned out to be that we were higher. That means we have to move our line of position closer to the sun than our assumed position. Again, that's if HO is greater than HC. Now, obviously it can go the other way. Your HO that you measured with your sextant could be less than where you calculated from your assumed position. So our assumed position was here and tables came out at 17 degrees, 29 minutes. But when we measured it with our sextant, it was 17 degrees, 25 minutes. The difference is four minutes, which is four nautical miles. But since ours was smaller, that means we're further away. And that gives us that four nautical miles. And again, what you do is you just, uh, in the same direction of the sun, but going the opposite way, you move your uh, position of your boat uh, four nautical miles on your chart. That is really the essence of Mark St. Hilaire and everything else that we're learning is just about how you calculate the HC, how you get your HO, and you do that comparison, you um, get your Z, you figure out your intercept, you plot it on your chart, and then you move on. So next week, we will talk about this thing called assumed position. How do you pick that smart uh, position so you can uh, easily use the site reduction tables 249? Uh, to get your um, position uh, on your chart. That'll be episode 24, and we'll see you next week, and hopefully you're enjoying our course. Bye-bye.